Epilepsy Foundation don't need it. <laughs> Say hi, ma'am. <laughs> Here we are, day two. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday because, I don't know, I just didn't have the stamina. I didn't sleep my well the night before, but I got Meme with me. We're doing day two, so we're heading into our first Goodwill. I'm not sure if she'll take me back to the bins, but we'll see. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> she's I'm a, up for anything. She's a party girl. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I have a ginormous haul for you. Um, this is October 11th today. And the past two days I went shopping in New Hampshire with my mom who turned 70. And so for her birthday celebration, she wanted to do an overnight and go thrifting with me. So I was so excited that that's what she chose to do. So we headed out. Uh, yesterday morning and we went to uh, two mornings ago we went to the New Hampshire bins and then my mom was so adorable and she mapped out like this whole route of thrift stores that we could stop at along the way so what you're gonna see today is all of that so this is going to be a long video I tend to run long anyways I am I work really hard at trying to keep things short and it never works out. So anyways, this is definitely going to be like a 45 to 50 minute haul. I'm going to start with what I got at Goodwill, at the Goodwill outlets. And then I'm going to go into the second half, which will be um, everything else that I got. So um, most of the stuff was bought at the Goodwill outlet. And then we also stopped at Salvation Army, two Salvation Armies that were half off, um, we stopped at a little, a couple mom and pop shops that I didn't get anything at, and then a regular Goodwill store that was next to where we stayed in Portsmouth. So um, let me just pause for a second because I want to give you like all the stats and the numbers before we get started. In total, over the um, time that I was in New Hampshire with my mom, I got 70 items. And all in, I spent $160. Um, the Goodwill outlets, I got 38 pounds. The first day was really light. I only got 10 pounds and then I got 28 pounds on the second day. Um, and I spent a total of 42.82. That seems a little low, but roughly under a dollar per item at the Goodwill outlet. And then um, some of the items you'll see what I paid in the other places. So yeah, 70 items for $160. I was really happy with that, but that's going to tell you it's going to be a long haul. So let's just get started. Uh, somebody wrote in and said that Lulu made a really cute co-host. So she's here today and she is modeling um, a sweater that I got at the Goodwill outlet. Okay, so I'm going to start with the piece that I was most excited about and I worked on it all night long. Um, I found another um, gummy sacks vintage dress. This is the fourth time I have found this brand and I feel so fortunate. Um, and this is the second one I found at the outlets in New Hampshire. The other two I found at a yard sale. I have sold, um, I mentioned it on my story. The first piece I sold for 80 or $90 on eBay. The second one sold for $149 almost immediately on Poshmark. I've listed a third one that hasn't sold yet. And now I have this, which, um, uh, somebody on my Instagram wrote back, like, it looks like a Renaissance dress and that's exactly what they were marketed as. Um, so it has these velvet cuffs with a zip here that is really phenomenal. And then, so it opens here. There's all this embroidery here. It's absolutely beautiful. It laces up here, all velvet. And then it is super long and flows out. I'll try to insert a picture here before I release the video so you can get a full view of it. Okay, here are the issues. I spent about an hour last night getting armpit stains, unfortunately. My guess is somebody might have, must have maybe worn like a vest over this or a sweater, and it was like super strong. So I don't know if you can see it anymore. I used my magic combination of um, baking soda, peroxide and Dawn liquid detergent and a brush and just went to town on this and I let it sit for an hour and I washed it. Okay, other little issues. There's a little stain here in the front. Everything is very faint and in the back, I'm just trying to go quick. There is a hole that I'm gonna stitch here and here, but when you tie it, it's going to be covered. So anyways, this, um, I don't know how it's going to compare to the more um, prairie looking dresses. So. 
I'm gonna do some research. I'm thinking that 149 is a good price to start these at where this has some issues. Um, I will likely take offers, but I saw this in one other place listed for $225, I believe on Etsy. So I'm gonna start it at 149 and see how it goes. I was super excited to get this because the bins weren't like insane. I don't have any crazy brands, but I am happy with the stuff I got. So moving right along. This is a new brand to me. It's Schneider's Salzburg, made in Austria. Um, I just ran the comps on this and they were really promising. This is just like a really lightweight cotton little trench coat. Um, this looks like an extra small size, so small or extra small, little gathered waist. Um, I'm thinking between 30, 30 and $40 for that. Um, I was lucking out with the trench coats. Um, I found this trench coat, which I've never picked up um, London Fog. It was just funny. I picked this up on my first day, and then when I went back on day two, on three occasions I saw people at the bins just running comps on London Fogs. Um, and most of the trench coats are just big and cumbersome, and I'm just not excited about picking them up, but this one was just beautiful. Um, it's not like your traditional like raincoat. It's it's a little bit more of like a softer knit. It doesn't have a belt. It's like, um, you know, just past the knee length. So it's not like a giant trench coat. It has a really cute liner. It is um, a medium petite, but it, it was just in absolute beautiful, beautiful condition. So I'm hoping to get between 40 and $60 for this London Fog. Really cute. I also got this um, military jacket. At first, what drew me to it was the um, what drew me to it was the patch on the side here. I really thought this was cute. Um, and when I first looked at it at, at a glance, I thought it was going to be H and M or something. But um, based on just the tag, I think it may be an authentic army jacket. Although I don't know because it's got like the little buttons here, which seem more. But anyways, really cute army jacket. I love camo. I will probably list this at about thirty five or forty dollars. I feel like I'm breaking a sweat. I'm trying to go so fast. I am not a fast person. This I this was the first thing I found um, on day one, and I thought it was going to be a great day, and then it ended up being just Mets and Mets. But I love the tie dye. This is a Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon tie dye shirt. I love it. It doesn't have like concert dates or anything on the back, but the the tie dye. I love the tan and black. Anyway, basic tie dye. I just thought this was kind of a different tie-dye, $15 for that. No concert, no anything like that. Um, I got these on my second day. There was a little batch. Um, I happened to have like a trash bag in front of me. And sometimes, and sometimes the bins roll out um, pieces that didn't sell at the Goodwill store. And then sometimes they bring out raw items. And by raw, I just mean they are a direct donation to the outlet. And so there was like a trash bag. And I sometimes love that because you never know what's going to be inside. So this was obviously a very tiny, I'm assuming teenage girl. Um, but these are just leggings from Wild Fable, which is Target. But again, super cute camo, uh, 15 to $20 because just a Target brand. But in that same bag were these adorable Sun jeans pinstripe with um, the raw hem. These are a size 24 and these are also Sun size 24. I'm definitely going to lock these together. Size 24 is like a double zero in a very, um, you know, very small size. So I thought by listing these together, that would increase my chance of, uh, of a nice sale. So I'm probably going to list those together for about $40, maybe 45 for the two pairs. Um, I also got, what is this? Why can't I figure this out? Oh, hold up. Oh, this is um, Carrie Underwood's brand, uh, that Calia. Here is the tag on it. Um, and this is like a cocoon sweater. Um, I think I'm gonna end up keeping this because I found a big flaw on it, but it's so pretty. It's navy blue, it's got the um, it's just like shruggy style, really cute, but when I got it out of the wash yesterday, I found this kind of a big hole. So this is, this is going to be mine or I'm going to mend it and then try to sell it. But anyways, this would have only been about 20. <laughs> now I just totally ripped the tag off of it. Alrighty then. I guess I am going to keep this one. Wow. There we go. Tag gone. Okay. I got this sweater. 
which I thought was really pretty. And I washed it last night and it came out really nice. Um, and the brand is just Loft and it is a medium. It looks um, to be a bit on the smaller side. So potentially it's been dried or something, but it's just this gorgeous like oatmeal colored cable knit. There is some pilling that I'll shave just a little bit. I won't go crazy because if it's not a smooth surface, sometimes when I sweater shave, I'm afraid I'm gonna like pull. Just like little American Eagle hippie pants. They're very lightweight, um, silky. I think these must be like a rayon or a nylon, um, but they tie, they have a tie waist. These are something, you know, that maybe I would even bring to Play-Doh's closet. I'm not sure, I'll see what I can get for them. I like the colors. I like that there are like fall colors in those. This I was really excited about. And it's just uh, it's just like a half zip or quarter zip uh, fleece. And it has like a, almost like somewhat of like a little bit of a fair aisle knit through the center. But the brand is called Bogner. Um, and this brand does very well. I'm expecting like between, you know, 40 and $50 for this confidently. And it is just not your average fleece. It's so great. And when I picked it up, um, it had some marks that were on the bottom and I picked it up anyways, knowing that the brand would still sell. But when I washed it, everything came out in the wash and I was so happy I decided to get it because you never know what stains. Sometimes you pick things up and you just can't get the stains out. So this came out beautiful. It is an extra small and I'll show you the brand. Did I not show you already the B Bogner? I actually picked up um, from an estate sale over the summer, a black vintage Bogner um, ski suit, one piece. And I have to get that cleaned and listed because this is the time that people are going to start looking. Um, this is a Floriat, which is an anthropology brand. And I'm assuming this is an old tag, but a uh, really pretty, more of a summery dress. But I definitely think this with like a cardigan would look really cute. It has pockets right here. This is all embroidered. It's a size 10. It's just gorgeous. And what's really cool about this, if you can see, it has like two or three layers underneath. I mean, the layers, one, two, three layers. So it actually has this like real volume to the bottom of it. And then it has this just little bit of lace trim that pops through, which I really thought made this a standout. So love that. I'm gonna price that probably around $40 and see what I get. Um, I got two pairs of Athleta pants and I love both of them. This is an extra small and I love this pattern. It's a cropped style as is the other pair. Love the beautiful colors in this. And um, I've been not selling Athleta leggings like at a great price. And um, I recently, I think I just, um, I just released a haul today. I think that you'll see um, that I paid like six fifty for pants like this. So I'm so much happier when I can find them at the bins and they cost like a dollar. Anyways, these are very cute too. These are small. They have a zip in the back. Athleta. Um, and these were both, they're not like super recent. These are from 2014. So these are five years old. Really cute though. Um, I believe these, they have like a little bit of a mesh detail here. Yeah, really cute. Cute, cute. Two pairs of Athleta. Those were pretty close to one another as well. This jacket I really love. Um, and I went back and forth on this and then I ran comps and I was really glad I picked it up. Um, I have to be careful at the bins with jackets, although even a heavy jacket, it's still going to be worth it. Even if it's a five pound coat, which is very heavy and I'm paying, you know, seven or eight dollars for it. That still pales in comparison to some of the prices I see at Savers these days. But this is a men's Timberland and the comps on these are really good. I love the colors of this. It goes great in my closet. Um, it is a size large. Um, there's Velcro. There is a hood. There's just a lot going on with this coat. This I bought strictly on style because it's a style that I really like and I think it's a very flattering piece for plus size women. Um, this brand is called just Fever. I'm pretty sure this is like a TJ Maxx brand. It is a 3X, but it's this beautiful lace, um, bells, bell sleeved, layered sleeved, um, kind of A-line top. And I think this would be lovely during the holidays. Um, you could really dress this up with like 
white slacks, black slacks, anything that would look so gorgeous with some nice standout um, statement jewelry. I really loved that. That was a plus size. If that were like in a basic size, I probably would have passed on it. But for plus size, I love that style. I am like on the verge of plus. I'm like a 12, 14. Um, and I know I love that style. So I was happy to get that. Okay. I'm differentiating him here because I'm running into some of the things that I got at the Goodwill stores. And I just want to show you outlet first. This I picked up. I loved the color. I love the style. It's just H&M, but it's this really soft. It looks like mohair -y, but it's not. It's just like an acrylic. Um, not a, quite a cropped, but just very slouchy, very soft. It reminded me of something that like my daughter wears. So I thought this was like good for that age group. Just a nice basic, probably $15 or $20. It is H&M, so it's not going to bring in a lot of cash. But again, I love keeping those pieces in my closet so people can bundle. Um... This is all goodwill, goodwill, goodwill. Uh, this, this I just grabbed for my mom. Never once have I picked up Eddie Bauer to put in my closet. And I don't know, it, it's great quality. But this, I was shopping with my mom. I'm like, Ma, this looks like something would be so cute on you. And she's like, I have so much of that, but you should really buy it for your closet. So I figured, why not? It's the bins. It's a nice classic style with like a kangaroo pocket in the front. It's like marled gray it's a size large eddie bauer nice fleece collar i think that will do well i'll probably list this at about 24 dollars and see how that does um this is just this has some pilling i would have not picked this up in a regular store um but at the bins where it was probably 75 cents or less it's just a lucky brand um i like the scoop neck i like that it's a size large and the cute little lucky logo just a nice basic tee i grabbed that I love this one. This is just a ringer tee, um, an extra large made in the USA, and it is just a silk screen of the Breakfast Club. Total classic. Really love this graphic, um, and I love a good ringer tee. So really cute on that. Um, and then a lot of you know that I just got back from South Carolina with my daughter, and one of the schools that we visited was Clemson University. And I laughed because um, my daughter was debating between this sweatshirt at the bookstore um, or this exact version in orange with like white lettering and she went with the orange one and it cost $55, 50 or 55 And so this I found at the bin, so I had to get it. Um, and then the little champion logo here. So really cute. This is a small and there is some pilling, but it is champion and champion sells for me. And I love picking up colleges. Although I, as you know, I typically like to stay with local stuff, but I always buy Penn state stuff. If I see it, cause my son goes to Penn state and, um, I sold an Ohio state sweatshirt, um, earlier in the year. So, um, did I sell Ohio state? I think I did. I think I did. Um, now this sheet set I picked up and uh, I continue to pick up vintage sheet sets and then just not list them. But I really thought this one was unique. It's Disney. Um, if you see, like you can tell that Mickey is like dated. It's just like an older version. And then there's like Donald Duck and his nephews. Really cute. Um, I did find a little tear on this, but it was right on an edge, and I, I really think that's not going to matter. So it is just a top sheet. There's Uncle Scrooge, and there's there's uh, um, Pluto. Anyways, I really thought that these sheets were really cute. I haven't run comps on them, but if I ever get to listing my vintage sheets that I keep picking up, I'm guessing they'll go between like $15 and $20 each on eBay. Um, okay, still going, still going here. Um, and then I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to like move out all my um, bins things and I'm going to bring over all of my just regular thrift store finds because I like to separate it because I always find it very helpful to um, see the types of things that I'm getting um, at bins versus what I'll actually pay for at a regular thrift store. I thought this shirt was great. It's 1969 Gap. I hesitate sometimes to pick up Gap because I know it's not like a hot seller, but I personally love the Gap. I grew up with the Gap and I feel like they're just a classic style, good quality, and I love their 1969 line. It's just kind of like a rugged Americana look. And um, this is more like a tunic, so it's a longer length, which I really love. And then these are just buttons down the front, so it's not a full button down, it's a popover. 
Um, I believe this is an extra small. Yeah, really cute. Um, I'm gonna probably price this around $32 because I think it's unique enough in the collar and the style of it. Um, this I just thought was so pretty. Uh, this is just INC International Concepts, and it is a size large. This brand is sold at Macy's, but this is Silk Nylon and Angora Rabbit Hair Combo, and it is just so pretty. Um, it just has the one cable knit. I love these wide sleeves, and um, I washed it, and I just hung it to dry, so it looks a little wrinkly, so I'll steam that out, but it's really beautiful. Um, and I love that it was a large. I just love, I love these cream colored sweaters going into the winter. So like winter white oatmeal cream color, just love it. With a pair of jeans, total classic look. I love that. Um, these I bought and then I bought them for my mom and then she didn't like the fit. She thought they were too low waisted, but these are just new with tag, um, totally linty uh, old navy pants. And they had like a clearance sticker on them. So these aren't really worth much. These are definitely something I would either um, send to Play-Dohs or bring to my consignment store because I don't think they're gonna photograph very well. They're very linty. Like, I just don't wanna spend the time on those pants. And I thought they were, I thought my mom was gonna take them. This scarf, adorable. I love this. Oh, and I meant to look up this brand um, because I think I've sold this brand before. I think it's Tolani, yes. This is 65% uh, linen, 35% cotton. Um, more of like a summer look, but really, really pretty scarf. I think it's really cute. Um, great colors, just lightweight linen. Um, yeah, so $15, $20 for that. I got this Under Armour sports bra, which I think is really cute because it has the spell out and it's got the um, racer back V. It's a size medium. It has um, the pad inside the padding that I that are also removable. You can see where you can remove them. I just thought that was really cute. Listed for 15 or 20. Um, I got this hat, which is great. Um, any fish fans out there? It's kind of big. This is the the kind of jam concert fish kind of like Grateful Dead-ish. They're the band that just keeps on playing. And I thought this was really cool. The inside, it's like brand new. Um, it does say, and it's a wool blend, uh, the classics. So it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. I just think this is a really good quality top it, uh, hat. It's got the fish logo there. And um, fish fans are hardcore. So I know there will be some out there who will like that. Um, so I think that will be a nice sell. I got this, I have so many soft and sexy t-shirts from um, American Eagle, and I love, love the feel of them, so I always pick them up, but they really have been slow moving in my closet, so I'm thinking about either pulling them out. My daughter had a ton that she just recently got rid of, so I have a bunch that I think I'm gonna bring to Plato's closet and see how they do, or to that local um, consignment store in Lemonster that I've been using. So, but really cute. I love that it's a tunic, that it's like somewhere between like a mock neck and a turtleneck um, in a longer length to be cute with like leggings or skinny jeans. That was cute. Have not looked up the comps on this. I just bought it because it was a 1X and it was new with tag. I don't know if any of you know much about this brand. El Bise or El Bis. Made in the USA. That's always a good thing. So I don't think any price on this but it's just kind of one of those like faux wrap dresses in this really pretty color um, with like elbow length sleeves. I think this would be a very flattering dress on somebody, super comfortable. It almost reminds me of like that Chico's Traveler fabric, um, but really pretty color for the holidays. And I loved the size and I love that it was new with tat and from the bin. So those were all yeses. Probably wouldn't pick that up in a regular thrift store. Definite yes at the bins. Um, I have a couple kids things here, which I really, at this point, only pick up kids at the bins, unless I'm really, unless it's like Patagonia or something like that. This is a crew cuts dress in a size 16. It's definitely out of season, but it's really pretty. It's got the embroidery crew cuts. Crew cuts is J. Crew's child children's line. It's also lined. Oh, and let's look at that nice yellow stain. <laughs> okay. You see it right here. All right. Well, we'll try to bleach that. Otherwise, this will be in my donate pile. Uh, what was I thinking? 
Lori, do not buy white clothes at the bins. I keep doing it. Anyways, a dollar. What are you going to do? Um, I also got this. I went back and forth on this, and then I ended up getting it because it was just in beautiful condition. At first, I thought it was a woman's small Columbia, but it's a kid's 1416, and it is just like brand new. I tend to list so many of my kids' items at 25, and I usually sell them between like 15 and 20, sometimes 12, depending on how long it's been sitting around. Then I got this one other thing for kids that... <laughs> I just thought this was so cute. Um, I should probably list it for Halloween. So it's just like an Elsa dress, but it's not because it's just really pretty. It has like the cape attached and it has all this little snowflake sparkly detail. It's got like these little straps so it goes off the shoulder. It is a size four to six X, so perfect. And then it's just like this really pretty little dress, little velour stretch with the faux four. But ready? Here's my favorite part. There's this little box inside. And I turned it on. You ready? It's so cute. <laughs> okay, come on now. All right, I'll stop it. <laughs> I'm wondering if they play Let It Go. I'm not sure. Probably. Okay, make it stop. <laughs> Anyways, how cool is that? You know, it has like a little bit of fraying on the edge. It's not perfect, but this is in really pretty condition. I can't wait to list this. I want to look up the comps on this because I thought it was really unique. And I was so happy that it actually worked at the bins. I would have picked it up either way, but the fact that Elsa sang to me while I was shopping at the bins made me really happy. All right, in my last video, I talked about how I'm not an ugly sweater person, but I will buy ugly sweaters at the bins if they're in good shape. Um, and I, I, I don't know, I got one. Jolly sweater. It's got good old Saint Nick in his sunglasses. This is really loud. His sunglasses are sequins. The gifts are sequins. It's fair aisle. It's a large. There's a lot going on. Um, and yeah, I love... I love that it was probably a dollar. I'm not going to pay up for an ugly sweater, but this I think will look really, and sometimes I just love to buy things that I know will photograph well, and I hate photographing red because it just looks like super bright. Um, so where this wasn't all red, I feel like this could look really cute, really cute on camera. So I think that was a good pickup. So I was proud of myself for grabbing an ugly sweater for the holidays. This I picked up, I, I picked it up and then it kind of looked more like a vintage um, tag, Novisa, Novica, um, and it's a poncho. I do like Mets and Mets with ponchos. I happen to like them a lot, but sometimes I feel like ponchos do better in larger styles. So I wasn't gonna get this, but I loved the, um, the colors. I thought they screamed fall and that they would look really cute with, um, you know, with, what do I always say, skinny jeans, leggings, boots. But I mostly bought it because it's 50% alpaca. And alpaca is a great thing to put in your listings when you're trying to attract buyers. Uh, most of my alpaca stuff sells really quickly, and I loved it. So for that reason, this was a go. So I picked that up. This one I spent a lot of time hemming and hawing over and then I just went with it because again, I, I like these colors for my closet where this is like not Lori friendly colors. Like I love neutrals. I love like comfy, classic vibe, boho. This is a vintage gap. No, not even vintage. I take that back. I think I looked at the tag and it was uh, 2015. But I loved the color combo in here and this, this little like um, shrimp color that's popping with the green stripes. And when I looked at the comps on Gap sweaters, it's just a Gap and it is a size extra small. But um, I like cardigans and the cardigans did better than the regular sweaters from my quick two minutes that I looked at the um, bins. And also um, open cardigans. I feel like you have more flexibility in sizing with an open cardigan if you're not buttoning it. If you're just leaving a sweater open, like I really think that this could fit like a size medium, definitely extra small, small, medium, I think would all work with this sweater. Then I just think it's, um, I just like the color combo of that. So I decided to grab that. So I am reaching now and then I'm gonna pause. Oh, this I thought was really cute. Just an ACDC cropped. I don't know if the, the people cropped it or if it came cropped, but I really liked this t-shirt. 
Um, and the fact that it has like the ACDC is like in pink, so it's like a little girly. And it's like not quite tie-dye, but there is like some variation in the color on the back that is not animal fur. That is like um, just gray, almost looks like a little marbling. And it is a size large. So this is really cute, 25 or $30. I'll list that for probably 28. How does that sound? <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, I picked this up. This is a Fender t-shirt, which um, when I first started on Poshmark over a year ago, I, I had over a year ago, I had a Fender t-shirt that I thought was just so cool. And um, it didn't sell forever. And then eventually I pulled it and brought it with an abundance of things to Plato's closet and Plato's took like three things. And one of the things they took was that Fender t-shirt. And I was like, isn't that funny? It sat in the closet forever. And they said no to all these things I thought they were going to love. And they took the Fender t-shirt. So with that in the back of my mind, I thought, well, if it doesn't sell in my closet, I can always consign it and somebody will probably take it. So that's why I did that. All right. I got this lace shirt that has like hook and eye, like a little, hook and eye clasp. Um, I, would, I guess I don't need to show you that. You know what that is, but I'll show you. There you go. Um, and this is a trend right now. Like my daughter just went to the Post Malone concert and she was looking for like a sheer top with stars. I don't know if this lace is quite what she was looking for, but anyways, um, I've seen this a lot on, um, you know, some current bloggers wearing like the sheer with like a little tank top underneath or even just like a bralette with jeans. So I thought this was really cute and this weighed like next to nothing at um, the bins. Oh, and this brand was definitely one I wanted to look into. Pamela Dennis, private client group. Sounds like it could be something, but I haven't, I don't know this brand, but I'm gonna look it up. And again, probably $24 for that. We'll see, that's what I'll list it at. Um, I didn't get many shoes. I did get these Sanitas. Um, these are a small size. They're 37, which I believe is a size five, but um, these were in really excellent condition. And I loved that they were just different. They were, they're kind of, they have this lace up and then this corduroy right here. Um, so these were in really good shape. So I think, um, you know, usually Sanitas and Danscos, I list between 40 and $50 depending, but these are pretty unique and they won't be a fast seller, but, um, They'll go eventually and I should get some good money for them. I got this um, Titleist hat, which is new with tag. Um, these can go, I think I've sold one Titleist for before and I, I, I think around the $20. It's a new era. The only thing with this is I definitely have to clean up the inside. You can see it's dirty and that's just from hanging out in the bins, but it's a nice neutral color and um, has magnetic field. What does it say? Place ball marker here. Oh, must have something that golf people will know what to do with right there. <laughs> so I got that. Um, sorry, my bag is going to crinkle for a bit. But I have a couple more things to grab to show you. And then I will pause. Hello again. And we will go back to the yard sale stuff. I mean, the thrift store stuff. Okay. These are not my style, not something I would typically pick up and probably not going to put these in my Poshmark closet. I get a ton of questions on how do you decide what you put in your Poshmark closet and what you put on eBay? Um, and it's kind of the same response. Sometimes I just have a certain vibe or style that I want in my Poshmark closet. And I'm not like as curated as some people, but I do feel like I have a style that I like to put. I don't just put anything in there. Um, and these are not necessarily that style, but I'm gonna make a liar out of myself because I always list everything on Poshmark first and then go to eBay. Anyway, never heard of this brand, but I saw that it kind of had that like shape up Skechers thick kind of heel that, that rocks. And I'm like, oh, this is definitely something different. The brand is Hoka, Hoka, H-O-K-A, Hoka 1-1 Stinson Light. Okay, comps are crazy. Comps were between $45 and $125 for these sneakers. Go figure. Um, so they must be good. I've never, never heard of them. Um, and these do have some wear. So it's this side. So it's got this here that I can probably magic erase off, but this part of the sneaker is like a little torn right there. But the sneaker itself, great condition. The insole is still there. I think these are like nine and a half, ten and a half. So I will clean these up and I will probably list them for about 50 or $60 and see what happens with them. I was really excited to test these. 
Um, okay, and I think just one more thing from the bins, unless I've missed something, which I often do. Um, and this is just a Bryn Walker. I just recently found a Bryn Walker piece that I listed. Her comps are really good. This is like 100% linen. It's this beautiful like eggplant, well, like purpley color, cardigan front, two pockets. This is an example of something I should probably list on eBay. I like to list um, more mature things on eBay, but again, I list them on both platforms and sometimes they never make it to eBay, which I'm working on. Okay, so I'm gonna pause right here and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna clean out my area and I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I got at the stores. I just grabbed all the stuff and uh, this might be more like a 55 minute video, but I'm gonna really try to talk fast. So, um, okay, round two, here we go. This is all stuff that I bought at Salvation Army. We were there on a Wednesday. So in our first store, all clothing items were 50% off. Um, in the second store, all items except for the incoming color, which was pink, was 50% off. Now look, he's with me. Um, I probably should have split, split this into two videos, but I have one video that I just released. Um, right now it's Friday afternoon, that just went out. And then I have one more that has to go out on Sunday. This will probably go out on Monday, the 14th or 15th. So that's why I'm combining the videos and this is just gonna be a really long one. So sorry about that. So um, yeah, so the second one, everything was half off except for pink. So I was really excited at the first store that had the half off all items. Cause that's rare. Usually you don't get half off the incoming color. Anyway, so I got these shoes. I didn't get too, too many shoes, um, just two pairs. And um, this is not a brand that I typically pick up in clothing anymore, but these are J Jill. Um, and they're out of season, but they, I just thought these were really, really pretty. Just like a really nice wooden platform, nice neutral color. These are just very classic looking. They almost reminded me of like a Vince shoe. Um, and these were $5.99 at the first store, so half off. So those were $3. Um, also at that first store, I found these in like a grocery bag that was hanging in the back of the store with the lingerie and like nightwear unmarked like someone like brought them in from out back and hung them anyways these are sam edelman and the style is called the nadine heel they're these like kind of stiletto almost platform shoes with like a background of like a leopard and they have the double ankle strap very sexy very beautiful for like um holiday stuff i can totally picture these on new year's eve anyways these had no price on them they priced them at 2.99 for me so these cost a dollar fifty so that was great. These are a size six. Um, and the J. Jill ones are a size 10. All right, so that's all I got for shoes. I'm gonna move on to accessories and I'm jumping around from, oh no, I got these too. Oh, these are really funny. Okay, these Nike, these are Adidas sneakers and they're so cool. And they have this like, they're like a olive, like a grayish green. And um, they have this great metallic fleck to them, fleck to them. I purchased these sneakers, new with tag, about two pairs in retail arbitrage at um, TJ Maxx. Once, I think I paid $15 for them, maybe 20, but one sold for $50, one pair, and the second pair sold for $40. So when I saw these, I obviously knew them right away, but they did have them marked at $10, and I had like 10% off with my Goodwill um, membership card in New Hampshire. So these still cost $9, but I know that I will get like, 35 maybe because they're used or maybe they're more rare now because it's been a while so maybe I'll get that $40 mark and they're a little bit bigger than the sizes I sold a little bit of wear on the bottom but I mean honestly these are like brand new and I just love the um the little metallic in there so okay so these are the this was expensive man but this bag was so beautiful um this is a Cole Haan leather bag and um they had it marked for 15 there was this little tiny bit of paint so they took two dollars off so see this little tiny mark that i'm really hoping i can get off this is a kohan all leather soft buttery i love kohan leather i think the brand is really underrated new i mean nobody has ever worn this bag it's brand new um, it has a zip in the center and then like a magnetic closure and these gorgeous like woven handles gold hardware heavy weight this is just beautiful. I'm gonna price this at about $65.
and see what I get for it. But I was really on the fence about paying up for this, but it's it's literally like gift giving condition. Once I get that white off, which I think I'm gonna try with a little bit of alcohol and just like the tip of a Q-tip to try to clean that up. Absolutely beautiful. And they said they had just gotten it in. That's why they only gave me $2 off for the paint. And in the same store, oh, I forgot to show this. I knew I would forget something from the bins. These are just J. Crew. Um, like boy short, I think fold over bikini bottoms, which I will throw in my closet next year sometime, <laughs> maybe. Okay, this was the other bag. Um, oh gosh, and I can't remember, they had a name for this, Sedona, or I can't remember the style of it, but the comps were really good, and I love this bag, love it, love it. The embroidery just fits so well with my closet, it's absolutely gorgeous. The braiding, the leather, and again, you look inside this, I feel like the bottom of this shows a little bit of wear, um, where the gray one shows nowhere, but the inside shows zero wear. So I am gonna list this at $65 as well. Um, comps were generally high for this. They have this in like different style bags, but this one, um, I did see a comp that it sold for 65. So maybe I'll even mark it higher um, in hopes that I sell it for 65, but, um, absolutely love this bag love 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 okay keep moving Lori this I bought um, and I usually don't pay this much for Michael stars but I just really liked this so this retails for a lot of money but um, I think it was six dollars and I only had like that 10% off so I know a lot of people are gonna think I'm crazy for paying this from Michael stars but um, I actually bought it with my mom in mind because she loves this style and it's just like a snap front this is just super classic to me. I feel like someone could have this in their wardrobe for a very long time. So overpaid for that, but you know. I got this flax piece, um, just this nice purple top. It's very wrinkly, it's 100% linen. This was half off, so it was marked three, so this was $1.50. That was an easy yes. Um, this piece, I was thinking about saving this, but I just, I put this on my story last night. This was hanging on the rack of go backs and uh, the brand is J Percy for Marvin Richards. Please let me know if you know this brand, but look at this coat. So this I believe is real fur, I'm, I'm sure it is, but none of the, um, the care tags totally washed away. It's got this hood and it's a bomber jacket. So it is just so awesome. It's an extra small, but I put it on. I mean, it didn't look good on me. It has little padded shoulders in it. There's, can you just see the weight of this? It's like incredible. So it had a ton of stains on it. I washed it last night. I literally put grocery bags around this and tied it here. I was like obnoxious. And then I put like a giant gallon Ziploc bag over it. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm just throwing it in the wash because it was so dirty. I had to wash it if I was going to get any return on this worthwhile and it came out beautiful. And I did like a, a reveal on my Instagram story where I took the bags off and this was left in just absolute beautiful condition. Should I try this on? Why not add three more minutes to this already long video? Um, I don't mind long videos. I hope you don't. Oh, it's still wet inside, but oh my gosh, ready? How incredible is this? You might think I look like an Eskimo. I think it is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Anyway, it's vintage. I am probably gonna mark it at like 125 and sit on it for a while. And beg my daughter to model for me because she hates to do it, but it just helps. So um, how cute is that? Okay, oh, best story. It was only marked 599 and I brought it to the register and it was filthy. And I just said to the woman, um, this is just really dirty. Like I never give them a hard time, but I always ask if there's a flaw. And she said, how about $2.99? I said, that sounds great to me. So $2.99, but this was at the second store with a pink tag, so it wasn't half off. But hey, I will pay $3 for this coat any day. I was so excited, love that coat. Okay, this I think was at the First Salvation Army. These are red. Valentino and when I looked up these Valentino I got excited because it was Valentino but I know this is a diffusion line and then um, when I looked up jeans they were all over the place some were like $10 some were $12 
these with the little rhinestone V. Um, I saw a pair that this V was red and they sold for $48. Plus the size is a 34, which is probably like a 16. Looks like maybe a 14 or a 16. So anyway, um, I really liked, it's just like a straight leg. So not like a super current style, but, um, but I like that it was Valentino and that it did well. So I did get that. This was at the second store, and I think this was half off. I think I only paid $3 for this. And this is Calvin Klein, and it is new with tag, and it has this beautiful peplum um, styling to it. And it also had a Stitch Fix tag on it. So a Stitch Fix and new with tag. Um, and I unfortunately peeled off the, um, when I was peeling off one of the other labels, the price came off. But definitely like 130 plus retail. Um, and I'll probably list this for about $65 and I'll probably land somewhere around 40 on it. Unless somebody loves it and scoops it right up. I bought this t-shirt thinking I was gonna give it to Rocco. Um, our subway system in Boston is called the T and it's at the Green Line and it has the TD Garden in the back, which is where the Celtics play and it has the guys crossing the street, the Green Line, get it? Celtics are green. That's part of our subway. Um, but Rocco told me that Kyrie Irving was in it and that it ruins the t-shirt and nobody's gonna wanna buy it. And he didn't wanna wear it. Apparently doesn't like Kyrie. So um, anyway, I'm gonna put this in my closet anyways, cause it's cute and it was 99 cents. These two, I think I'm gonna lot together. This was at the first Salvation Army. This is just a really pretty, it has sheer detail in it. It's an old tag, Eileen Fisher in a size small. So I got this, this was $4.99 plus half off. This one, I don't know why it was right next to it. It was $6.99 and half off. So I paid $3.50 and $2.50. So a total of $6 for two Eileen Fisher. Both have the same tag, both size small. I'm going to lot these together and price them at about $40, $45 and see how they do. Um, this is an older tag Athleta, which I have just got done saying that I'm that Athleta hasn't been selling very well, but these are size 10. Oh, the tag's still on them. So $4.99 and then half off. And they're just this very lightweight nylon, kind of a gathered jogger look. Super, super comfy. I just really liked the style of these pockets in the back. I feel like these could even kind of be dressed up maybe with like some loafers or some cute sneakers or whatever, but really cute, um, $25, $30 for those. Uh, this dress is a brand new, uh, brand that is new to me and it's called Ellie Kai, E-L-L-I-E-K-A-I. -E -E this is a size eight. Sorry for the lint. This one hasn't been washed. Just a very classic, beautiful career. It has a nice little stretch to it. The feel is beautiful. Um, I want to say this was like $3. This was a half off one and the comps were really good on this brand. So I'm hoping to get like between $30 and $40 for this dress. This dress is a brand um, that I see all the time at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, Monto. Um, it's a size extra large. This was marked $9.99, but it was half off. Um, and I just loved it. It's this beautiful, like blushy, taupey color, and it's a maxi dress. So it's nice and long. I love the, um, the floral on it. I love the little lace trim. It's an extra large. I feel like it's even though it's lightweight, I still feel like it's a beautiful fall dress and I don't have any maxi dresses in my closet and I love that this was new with tag and I just thought it was really beautiful. So um, the Marshall's price tag on it was $19.99. I paid $5 and I will probably list it for about $35. This bra, uh, bra was so beautiful. I swear I've seen these um, advertised before. I paid $3 for a bra, which I normally don't do, but it's NYX by NYX Wear and oh my gosh, it is um, seamless and it is also wireless and it looks so comfortable. Um, the sizing for this is weird. I have to look into this company, but it's a size four. So very comfortable. I have no idea what I'm gonna price this at, probably $20 and see what happens. This I paid $4 for. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren button down and I wouldn't have picked it up if it was just like basic, but I really loved the back. I loved this graphic on the back with the Eagle um, and the Ralph Polo 65, super cute. Um, this is a relaxed fit in a size extra small. I really love that. 
kind of like a distressed denim look as well. This I paid $4 for, my mom told me I was crazy, but I just really liked it. Um, and it's a vintage ringer tee of Tigger. And it was pink and it says bouncy on the back. I just feel like Disney fans are very passionate, um, but I might list this on eBay. Um, it's definitely like a wider boxy style, but I really liked it. I liked the color, I just liked the vibe. This I picked up, this was $2.99 and then half off, so $1.50, um, and it's a little bit of a burnout fabric. The brand is 47, which is like a higher end line brand for sportswear. Um, and love to keep my Boston stuff in stock. And I have to say, one of the nicest things about all of my haul videos is how many people I have connected with who live in the New England area. It's been so much fun to talk to people who live in Rhode Island, New Hampshire, and uh, it's just been fun, like people who live super close by to me. So a lot of Boston pride around here, and I loved this shirt, perfect for my closet. These jeans I got, I can't remember where, but I didn't pay much. I think I might have paid $3 for these. And it's a new line to me. So I I've, I've, I know Max Mara, obviously. And um, there's Max Mara, Max Mara Weekend. And this is XS Max Mara. So I think this is like maybe their sportswear line design for easy living, it said. So it must be like a little chill brand. I don't know how this is going to do because it has pleats in the front. Um, I almost wish it was high so it was like that paper bag waist look. But it's got buttons in the back, um, cuffed bottoms. I don't know. These did not cost a lot of money, so I was happy to pick them up. They are, I'm um, not sure of the size here. Um, sorry, they're a size 4, a size 4 US. They look a little big for a 4. They look more like a 6. But anyway, um, I have no idea on the pricing for that, maybe $35, but um, I don't know if this is something I would send into thread up. I don't know if it's a current enough look. If you know anything about S Max Mara, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will look them up. I'll look them up either way. This I just bought because I liked it. This free, I'm sorry, not French. Um, navy blue, um, it has mohair. This was $4.99 and half off. This brand didn't do like exceptionally well, but it cost $2.50 and I really liked it. And I, you know, already said my piece about cardigan sweaters. I really liked that. Um, okay, I think we're at the end. I think, I hope I didn't miss anything else. One last thing to show you, and this I bought at the first Salvation Army. Um, it was on a rack that had just gotten rolled out and I was on the fence about a Patagonia jacket that they had at $60 and I would have paid 30 for it. And it was like an orange. It wasn't like a cinchillo or like the classic trendy type that kids wear. It was more of like an all weather winter, had a lot of staining and I decided against it. The comps were about 50 or $60. If I was $30 in after fees, I didn't really feel like it was worth it. Ran to the back of the store to return it. Um, and when I was back there, they rolled out a rack and it had this like vintage, like 90s warm up suit, which I was so excited about. So it's a Nike and it's just like a quarter zip here. I love that it has the spell out on the back and it had the matching pants in a size large. So, uh, actually it says large 12, 14. This is women's, I don't know if that's good or bad. It's women's, I wouldn't expect this was women's. That's not men's and it's not kids because they're long, this is, yeah, I can see this fitting me. Lined with the gray. Anyways, this was half off, so the pants were 350. I haven't washed this yet, and the and the coat was $8.99, so $4.50. So I paid $8 for the um, set, and I'm going to have to revisit everything because I don't know how the women's um, Nike 90s track suits go, but I was initially thinking if this were men's, I would get between $50 and $65, $70 for this set. Um, so I have to reinvestigate and look and see how women's are doing. But that's it, that is my entire haul. I had so much fun with my mom. She's a great thrifting buddy. She taught me everything I needed to know about thrifting. We have been going to yard sales since I was a little girl. And uh, my mom is the master at like finding things and shining them up and making like a thrift store, junky yard sale thing look like a million dollars. She is the best. By the time you see this, I will already be home. But tomorrow we are heading out to Pennsylvania to see my son. We're meeting him in the Poconos. So he's driving from Penn State. We're driving from Central Mass and we're meeting um, in the Poconos. So 
I'm looking forward to seeing him. Of course, I'm going to thrift along the way, but I had South Carolina and then I had New Hampshire and now I have Pennsylvania. My closet has taken a hit. I haven't been listing as much, which discourages me because I just officially made my full-time announcement and I don't think my sales are going to be as good in September in October as they were in September just because I'm not listing as much because I've been on the road and I've been shopping. So I'm gonna have a huge pile to list. And when I get back from Pennsylvania, my plan next week is to stay home, stay out of the thrift stores as much as possible and list my little heart out so I can bring some new finds to you. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It means so much to me. Um, as my channel is growing, I want to keep bringing you guys some great content. Um, I think one of my next videos is going to be a QA. and I feel like I've reached that point where I've gotten enough questions on either Instagram or YouTube or direct messages or whatever that I can do a Q&A. So if there's anything that you want to know for future videos, um, go ahead and leave a comment below. I always try to get back to everybody and um, we'll prep that for a future video. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Take care.